Hey everybody, it's Michelle with Florida Keys Birding and today we're going to be talking about the Northern Mockingbird. The Northern Mockingbird, I like to call them the gang members of the bird world. You might be like, why are you calling them this? Um, well, maybe it's because when you walk around your neighborhood, if you might have noticed, they're always kind of posted up on the same corner, just kind of watching and waiting for somebody to step on their territory. Mockingbirds are quite brave and territorial, and they do not play any games. If you dare to get near a nest, or even close to their turf, they will go after you. They are known to dive bomb just about anything, even hawks. They really are fearless. This behavior is called mobbing when smaller birds will chase away, dive bomb, or mob larger birds. They are typically doing this in the effort to drive away potential predators from a breeding area, a nest, or young, or in a non-breeding home range. You see, I told you they were gang members. <laughs> Regardless of its territorial behavior though, they are quite quirky and fun to watch in general. A group of mockingbirds is called an echo, an exactness, a plagiary, and a ridicule. Well, you know, I could see, uh, I could see a couple of those names there <laughs> fitting a group of mockingbirds. Um, the reason they're called a plagiary though is because they basically plagiarize calls from other birds. Another fun fact about the Northern Mockingbird is that it is actually the state bird of several U.S. states including Texas, Florida, Mississippi, Tennessee, and Arkansas. So as far as diet goes, the Northern Mockingbird um, is, is a common bird to backyards, but they don't really often visit feeders. Um, you can kind of encourage the mockingbird though to come visit your yard um, by keeping an open lawn with, and providing fruit trees, bushes, including mulberries, hawthorns, and blackberry brambles. I have found that they also really love bird baths and mine seem to come daily for a dip. They also kind of like raisins. Sometimes I put raisins out there and they will come and eat raisins too. So their diet mainly consists though of insects, berries, and fruits. They mainly eat insects in the summer, but switch to eating mostly fruit in the fall and in the winter time. Their full diet includes beetles, earthworms, moths, butterflies, ants, bees, wasps, grasshoppers, and sometimes small lizards. They also eat quite a wide variety of berries and fruits. And they've also been seen drinking sap from the cuts on recently pruned trees. So the Northern Mockingbird is also the king or queen of mimicry. They're renowned for their ability to mimic the sounds of other birds, animals, and even mechanical sounds. A single mockingbird can imitate up to 20 different species of bird. If you've been hearing endless strings of 10 or 15 birds in the morning outside of your house, you might have a Northern Mockingbird in your yard. And if you live anywhere in North America, you probably do have a northern mockingbird in your yard. Their range is pretty vast when it comes to um, the United States and North America. So these slender bodied gray birds apparently pour all their color into their personality. They will sing almost endlessly, even sometimes at night during breeding season in spring and summer. A male may learn around 200 songs during its lifetime. Wow, that's pretty impressive. And nighttime singing is also more common during the full moon. Mockingbirds will typically sing from February through August, and again from September to early November. A male may have two distinct repertoires of song, one for spring and another for fall. So that's pretty interesting. Something else interesting that you may have noticed about the Northern Mockingbird that I've noticed that I always thought was kind of weird and odd um, is whenever it does this wing flash display. So you can see in the video here it doing the wing flash type display. It's like it kind of, you know, half or fully opens the wings and, and it does like these jerky intermediate steps kind of showing off the big white patches that it has. Um, but you know, scientists say we, we don't really 100% know why they do it, but there are a few theories of why they do this wing flash thing. So one could be communication. Wing flashing could be a form of communication between mockingbirds that might signal intention such as like aggression, submission, or simply to serve as a means of attracting attention. Um, another possible 
reason for the wing flash is a territorial display. That's kind of what I always thought they were doing. I was like, oh, they must be kind of like marking their territory with this wing flash type deal. Um, you know, and it's, mockingbirds are pretty territorial birds, um, so they might use, you know, the wing flash to do like a visual, visual sign of, of dominance over a certain area. Um, another, you know, reason that the northern mockingbird might be doing the wing flash is a courtship ritual. Um, it might be doing this during courtship, you know, as a display, you know, for the male, you know, to the female to attract her. It could also be like an alarm response. I don't know about this one as much um, because they seem to kind of do it on purpose. But, um, and then the last one was uh, social interaction. They might be doing it to, you know, socially interact between other mockingbirds, helping to reinforce social bonds with a group or a pair. You know, so, I mean, there could be multiple factors. It could be one of the above, all of the above, none of the above. We don't really 100% know for sure. But my guess is it's territorial because the mockingbird is pretty darn territorial <laughs> to say the least. So as far as nest placement goes, um, right now we are in nesting season in summer. Today is June 2nd, so yeah, we are right in the middle of nesting season. I bet you've already heard or seen baby mockers around your area lately. I know I have, even since April. I, I saw my first uh, baby mockingbird popping along on the ground. Um, and you know, northern mockingbirds usually nest in shrubs and trees, typically between three and 10 feet off the ground, but sometimes as high as 60 feet. So that's pretty interesting. Um, I personally often see them nesting inside bougainvillea bushes and thicket type bushes. And the male um, probably will choose the nest site most times and will begin building the nest several days before the female chooses one to finish and lay her eggs in. Females may start laying in a second nest while the male is still caring for the fledglings from the previous one. Mockingbirds rarely ever reuse nests. Um, and for more information about nesting, you can check out my other video right here about nesting mockingbird babies, eggs to fledglings. Um, there's a lot more information there about mockingbird fledglings. So the northern mockingbird, um, as far as conservation is concerned, is generally low on the list, but this was not always the case. I found this pretty interesting when I was researching that in the 19th century, people kept so many mockingbirds as cage birds that the birds nearly vanished from parts of the east coast. People took nestlings out of the nest and trapped adults and sold them in cities such as Philadelphia, St. Louis, New and New York in 1828. Um, where they would buy northern mockingbirds for as much as fifty dollars. Um, it was probably a lot of money, you know, back then. But thank God we aren't allowed to do these things to birds anymore, um, and there's laws that protect them. Um, but despite those losses, the northern mockingbird is common and widespread today, and their populations have rebounded from the lows in the early 19th century. So I want to know, what do you think about the northern mockingbird? Do you love them? Do you hate their early morning or late night song? Do you like their silly behavior? Do they harass your cats and dogs? <laughs> I want to know. For me personally, I like the Northern Mockingbird. It kind of reminds me of my cockatiel Louie Lou. Territorial, fearless, and with a beautiful song. Keep protecting those streets, Northern Mockingbird. You and the rest of the bird gang.